just a quick little video to show you some of the tips and tricks that you can use in Microsoft Teams to streamline your communication. So our team, the TLX team, now has over 900 users. And I've had some comments about how it can be a little bit unwieldy trying to figure out where everything is in this long stream. So I just wanted to show you a couple things that you can do to make finding information a little bit easier. Um, the first thing is when you're adding a reply to a comment or reply to someone else's um, post, you're going to want to hit right here where it says reply. So here Nikki Monahan has made a comment to the entire teaching and learning exchange. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But I want to add to Nikki's comment and I want to just say, well done, Nikki. Um, so I'll say, well done. And I want to focus this comment on Nikki so that she understands it's for her. So I'm going to use the at key and then I'm going to put Nikki um, and there she is. And you're going to see it turn blue. Now that's going to notify Nikki and you're going to see it over here in the activity. It's going to notify Nikki that she has got a comment about what she has said here. And that will tell her to come and look at it later. So that's a really useful tool to use is the at function when you want to talk to someone specifically or respond. So if you're replying, you'll see what happens here is you'll see um, your response and you'll see this little blue thing here, a little purple bar. And that's telling you that you've responded to this thread of comments. Okay, so if you're responding to someone else's thread, use the at function to name whoever it is that you want to name. Um, and also make sure that you hit reply. If you want to start a new conversation, so let's say you have a specific question that you want answered or a comment that you want to make, that's just a general comment, you're going to go to a new conversation. Okay, and here's where you can make a conversation, make a, a, a comment and people can respond to that. Here's one tip. If you're asking a question that's very specific, you're going to go to right here where you see the A and format. And here you're going to see add a subject. And you can add a subject, and I will call this um, new topic. Okay, I'm going to put new topic. And here I can make my comment or say whatever I want. Um, and I can also use the at key, and I can add whoever I want here, or I can just make a general comment. Um, and I can say, this is a good tip okay so now when i press enter you're going to see it has this comment here um sorry this topic here in bold you can see where that is and then people can reply so what i would suggest is just in this stream and here you see danny smith has done it he's talking about teams upgrades and improving facilitation he's made this a subject and people are responding within this block here i've done the same thing I've added a subject and people can respond. You do not want to respond to a comment like this by starting a new conversation. You want to always hit reply. So that's a that's probably the best way for your comments to stay compact, for people to be able to comment within that section and not have sort of this long stream of new conversations starting. Use the at key to respond and make sure to start a new conversation if um, there's a topic you want to start that's new.